hello guys welcome to simplified coding and this is a new video tutorial series and in this series we will be learning about we will be we will learn everything about firebase cloud messaging so if you are having trouble with firebase cloud messaging then you can go through the whole playlist and this is the first video of the series and today we will learn how we can generate the device token so first start a new android studio project and name it anything and wait and once your project is loaded we will start adding firebase into it When the project is loaded, click on tools and select firebase. And here you can see all the available firebase features, but right now we need to worry about cloud messaging. So click on cloud messaging and select this set up firebase cloud messaging. Now here the first step is we need to connect our application to firebase application. So click on this button and it will open up a connection dialog where you can create a new firebase project or you can also select an existing firebase project so i'm creating a new firebase project my fcm example and i will connect it to firebase now our application is connected with firebase application now we need to add the dependencies that are required for Firebase cloud messaging. So click on this button and accept the changes. It will automatically add all the dependencies that are required to implement FCM inside your application. Now the third step is accessing the device registration token. So for this we will create a new class. So right click on the package oops, and go to new Java class and I am creating my Firebase instance ID service. Click OK. And now this will extend Firebase instance ID service. Now just copy this method from here and paste it, paste it inside this class. Now import the classes and you can replace this tag with something my firebase id or anything. And for now we don't need this method so I am commenting it. So this will generate the Firebase token. Now the only thing is left we need to define the service inside our Android manifest file. So for this scroll down here and copy this and paste it inside your manifest file inside application tag. So here I am pasting it and change the class name with the class we created. So it is my, my Firebase instance ID service. Now this will generate the access token and display it to the log. Let's see if it is working or not. So run your application. Now the application is running. Let's see the token is generated or not. For this go to android monitor and here you can search for the term refreshed token. So press ctrl f and type refreshed token and as you can see the token is generated and this is the token that is generated and we will use this token to send push notification. So that's it for this video and in the next video we will store this token to our server so that we can send push notification to all the device registered and 
if you are having any confusions you can comment your queries and i will try to help you out and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also like the video and share this video as well and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching